What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. Tonight we are doing something different. We are in Bridgeport, Connecticut at the inaugural season game of the PWHL New York women's hockey game. I'm so excited to be here. It's raining and it's cold. So let's go ahead inside. And we'll talk about it some more. So we don't even have tickets yet. Let's go get some. So we're actually next door to the Hartford Healthcare Amphitheater too. This is a cute little little uh, venue area they have here. All right, we got our tickets at the box office. That was easy, $18 each. Now let's head in. Okay, we had to uh, get rained on, of course, because that's just how the Crystal Palace is. But we are inside. So we're section 100. The tickets were a little over $18. I don't even know where we're sitting, but I don't really care. We're just here for the vibes, the good time. So let's go experience it. We made it just Please in time. Everyone's looking at us. I think the flag must be up here. We can't see it. Okay, we made a perfect timing actually. National anthem and O Canada because they are playing Ottawa. So we could have bought tickets on Ticketmaster, but I figured maybe if we bought them at the box office, they would be a little cheaper. They weren't. That's okay. It was so easy. Just there was nobody in line to get tickets. So bought our tickets outside. I gave them my phone number and they texted me a link to the tickets through Ticketmaster. Super easy. So on Ticketmaster, they didn't sell this whole side. I do believe that they are broadcasting on MSG networks and I'm sure some Canada networks from this side. So they show, you know, the crowds over here. So here's all the TV networks and everything right there. They do have really nice suites. Look at that. And this whole arena is really cute. The Total Mortgage Arena has 10,000 seats. It opened in 2001. I've never been here. It's really cute. This is also home of the Bridgeport Islanders, which is the AHL team and the Islanders Farm Club team. Maybe we'll go to a game one time. This is really fun. And for $18, these seats are pretty great because the rink, like you're so on top of the rink, you know, it's not far away. This is great. All right, let's go New York. Woo. I do want to point out the obvious here. The attendance is super low. I do have a few reasons I personally think why the attendance is so low. First of all, it's it's inaugural season, so I feel like not a lot of people even know about the PWHL yet. Also, the time and the place of the game, we're in Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's a hike from the city. It took us a really long time to get here. We barely made it for puck drop. Is on number 28, Micah Zandy Hart. Two minutes for cross-checking. That's 28, Zandy Hart. Two minutes for cross-checking. Also, there is nobody here because everybody is stuck in traffic on I-95. They have their games at 7 p.m. on a Wednesday, so peak rush hour on I-95 to get up here. So the PWHL New York plays at the UBS Arena in Long Island, well, Queens, Long Island area, and Bridgeport, Connecticut. So not great options for rush hour traffic, honestly. Long Island, you want to avoid at all costs at rush hour. It was, quite, it was quite the trip, so give this video a like. But we made it. Maybe next season they'll have some better game times. They usually play on the weekdays now, so we'll, some weekend games would be fun, just to kind of fill the stands more. Maybe some more marketing they could do. I don't know. Because this is so great, you know, a women's hockey league. As a young girl playing hockey, this is what you love to see. So I would love to see them, this at least this New York team, get some more love. I know the Toronto team is like, they sell out. But New York needs some love. Also, if they played in Manhattan, I know the garden might be kind of difficult to play at because you've got to have a lot of people. Everyone uses public transportation in the city, so you don't have to worry about that rush hour traffic deterring crowds away like you, you would do here. There is a Metro North train station not too far from here, but you have to either walk from the train or Uber, so it's inaugural season. They might change it. 
stay tuned till the end of this video and I'll tell you my honest thoughts if it was worth the trek up to Bridgeport, Connecticut to come to the PWHL game. But so far I'm having a really great time. These women are great and it's really fun. I also am obsessed with their jerseys and their uniforms. They look sick. New York might be biased, but they definitely have the best looking uniforms in the league. I like how they have the banner PWHL around the arena. I like their logo. Everyone else out there, how old you are, what position you play, and what team you play for. Hey, do you maybe dream to skate on this ice with some of those girls? Yeah, I'd be being honored. They're very, they're my, um... Part of watching so the PWHL so far. I like That's what it's all about, this PWHL. I love that. That it's so cute. These little girls that play hockey now have something to look forward to, people to look up to. Super cool. Love it. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So if you aren't familiar, there are six teams currently in the PWHL, three Canada, three United States, Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, New York, Boston, and Minneapolis. I do wish, however, they started off with nicknames. They're just New York for now. I did see they had some potential names leaked and the New York team was named, drum roll please, drum roll please, the New York Sound. Woo! I love that name, New York Sound. I hope it's real. I hope next season they have that because I'm definitely buying merch once that New York Sound is announced. Fun. That's Great. fun. They try. They have like finished that tune trivia. The, the scoreboard on this side is really small though, I will say, but it looks like it's bigger on this side. My dad just called number 16 on Ottawa. Little Panarin. That's like the highest compliment you can give someone. So it's 1-0 Ottawa. Currently it is March 20th today and the New York team is sixth out of six teams in the PWHL. But there's not far back in terms of points, so you never know for the playoffs. They do have the playoffs. Four teams are going to make it. It's going to be five game series, two semifinals, and a finals. So it should be interesting no matter what. It's a win for women's hockey. They do fun things. I wish they had more people here because, you know, they're trying. I like it, it's fun. That was a super quick period. Let's go New York, yeah! New York, five. And it's time for tonight's first PWHL New York Intermission Face-Off. Presented by Red Financial. Yay, they have little ones. Now taking the Total Mortgage Arena ice is the Shoreline Sharks AUT. So cute. That's adorable. Oh my god, they're so tiny. Let's meet tonight's Stop. roster. Bob. I love it. They're posing. Nine, <laughs> Let's go, Queens. Yes. Number 10. This is so Kevin. fun. They do full ice too at MSG. They only have them do half the ice. I love it. This is so cute. Like, like I said, this is what it's all about. Come on, fans, let's make some noise for the show. Woo! Let's go, women hockey. Slay. On the ice they interview the them. That's so cute. I love this. Very fun. This is so and great. How have you been liking the PWA? Doesn't look open, but Two Roads is a local brewery. So that's pretty cool. They have some of their tap. Oh, that's sick. Two con for Yukon. Drink. Oh, I love that. It's awesome. They should definitely have this open during the PWHL games, though. They just have one bar. Here's a look at some of their merch. I do want to get a sweatshirt, but they have really nice merch. I love their jerseys so much. I love, I like that. That's cute. But I might wait until they are called The Sound because I love that name. It's sick. Oh, they have some water bottles up here, too. Pucks, mug, great merch. This is super cute too. I like I like the black one. Cool. And they just have it set up at this little merch stand right here. I like it. I'm happy they have some merch to sell. It seems like they have only one food stand open. The line is super long for food in between periods. So try to eat before you come. I know you might be sitting in traffic like we were. So you might be hungry, but yeah, it seems like they only have one food stand open here because the line is super long. OMG, they have mini donuts. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
that's iconic. But look at the line. The line's insane. But they have mini donuts. Oh, where's the roller? I don't see a roller. Oh, there they are. There they are. Under there. I don't see a roller though. So we know if. Oh no, that looks like. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Here's what they have though. Pretzels, popcorn, candy, Cracker Jacks, fried Oreos, fried dough. A lot of fried. I love it. That's right up my alley. Here is floor access. Do you see? A rink right there. Pretty cool. They do have other snack stands that I'm sure are open for the Bridgeport Islanders games. But for the crowds, they don't have it open. And here is a line for drinks. As you can see, once again, long line for drinks. Time for the second period. Let's go, New York. Woo! Second period action is underway. I think I repped New York to the best ability without any merch. I have my Rangers jacket by Wear by Aaron Andrews, Women in Sports, of course. I have this New York sweatshirt and blue pants. Let's go, New York. New York Power Play. Come on, let's get one here, ladies of New York. Time of the penalty, 2.33 of the second period. Let me know in the comments if you have ever even heard of the PWHL before. And where would you like to see a new team pop up next? So besides the New York Sound, the other potential team names are going to be the Boston Wicked, Minnesota Superior, Montreal Echo, this would be the Ottawa Alert, and Toronto Torch. Which one do you like the most? Let me know. I love the New York Sound so much. I think it's just such a good name. And also, if they're going to play in Bridgeport and Long Island, they both are on the Long Island Sound. So, you know, pays homage to their home arenas. This inaugural season, they are going to play 24 games. They have six left after tonight. So this is, this is a playoff push right here for New York. Ottawa is currently in fifth with 21 points while New York has 17. All right, everyone, don't have review time. This is a very unconventional review. As you can see, there is a hockey game going on behind me, PWHL New York. Let's go women's hockey, woo! They have mini donuts. So like, this is my life right here, hockey and donuts. This is Pudgy Boys, $8 for, I haven't even opened the bag yet, one, two, three, four, five, six, $8 for six mini donuts. I saw a fryer um, say the name of this place does make me feel bad about myself a little bit. Pudgy Boy. Let me try another one, maybe give it the benefit of the doubt. They have potential, but they're soggy yet dry at the same time. Cinnamon sugar, $8.00 down the drain um i'm sorry yeah four six for the donuts but a million out of ten for the pwhl and and that's the review all right that was an interesting one i'm sorry i gotta watch the game now bye i knew i shouldn't have gotten those donuts eight dollars down the drain probably the worst donuts i've had in quite a bit yeah yeah not great. I didn't think you could mess up mini donuts that bad. But I'm glad I got a water because ugh, I can't get over those donuts. We might have to stop at McDonald's on the way home. Oh, we had a little scruff over here. Her helmet flew off, see? Donut in the box. Well, even though they're about to lose, it still was a great game. My first PWHL experience and hopefully not my last. So we parked in this parking garage right next to the arena. It was $18 to park for the game. So the tickets were $18, parking was $18. Well, honestly, that was something fun, different, 
and unique. And that's what the Crystal Palace is all about, checking out these really cool, unique, fun experiences that you, know, you don't get to see and do every day. Wait, is this the train? This is the train, are you kidding me? Okay, take the Metro North, don't drive. This is a train right here. It's right outside. It is not far at all. Wow, the arena is like literally right back there. Okay, take the Metro North guys. There you go, you heard it here first. Do that. Not that you probably would ever take the ferry to a game, but this is where the ferry comes in. If you're coming from Long Island, Port Jefferson into Bridgeport, it's gonna come right in here too. I told y'all, I told y'all I'm stopping for McDonald's. After those donuts, I could not stomach another thing. So here we are. Good old trusty rest stop McDonald's. But bring back all day breakfast, please, McDonald's. I beg you, please bring back all day breakfast. I made it into a song. So that should convince you to bring back all day breakfast. Thank you. So overall, I think the PWHL is so great. I love seeing all the little girls there, having a role model, inspiration, something to look forward to, goals to achieve. I think that is just the coolest thing. I would have loved that when I was growing up. The thing for me was the time and the stadium of the game. I do wish it wasn't during rush hour. You know, everybody from the city, it's really, really, really not convenient to get out to Long Island during rush hour or get up to Bridgeport, Connecticut during rush hour. So I think that's really what hinders the attendance and hinders people from being able to come out and support this New York team. If it wasn't for that rough rush hour traffic, you know, I got out of work and I had to hit the road right away to make it to the game. We just made it just on time. But if it wasn't for that, that that's like my only complaint and that's you know nothing that they could control. So I had a fun time. It was good atmosphere, good team, good game. And overall, Crystal Palace approved. Maybe we'll be back for another game next season. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.